Let me show you how mutual fund fees can destroy your net worth over time. And that's exactly why I personally invest in low cost index funds. Let me explain. Okay, so I'm using NerdWallet's mutual fund calculator, which is a great tool. I've got one calculator open here on the left, and this is supposed to signify a person that invests in actively managed mutual funds. And I've got another calculator here open on the right, and this is supposed to signify a person that invests in low cost index funds. All right, let's say that person A, the person who invests in actively managed mutual funds, has an initial investment amount of $12,000. And let's say that their investment time horizon is 30 years. And their average fund expense ratio, aka the fees that they pay on their investments is 0.75% or 75 basis points. And let's say that they're planning on contributing $12,000 a year for a timeline of 30 years at a rate of return of 7%. Now you might be thinking that 0.75% isn't really that much, but check this out. After 30 years, person A gross ending value of their portfolio is going to be a little over 1.3 million dollars but their ending value when you consider the fees that they paid is a little over 1.1 million dollars and ladies and gentlemen that's because they paid an expense ratio of 0.75 percent which over the course of 30 years equated to hundred and seventy six thousand seven hundred and eighty two dollars in fees so in other words this measly 0.75 percent in fees means that you actually paid a little over 13 percent percent in fees to that mutual fund provider. Meanwhile, person B invested in low cost index funds. They made the same initial investment amount. They invested for the same 30 years, but their fund expense ratio, AKA the fees that they pay is only 0.03% or three basis points. They made the same $12,000 contribution each year and they got the same 7% rate of return, but the ending value of their portfolio is $1.29 million and that's with fees compared to person A's $1.12 million dollars and by simply investing in low-cost index funds person B only paid seven thousand six hundred and thirty dollars in fees over 30 years as opposed to person A's one hundred and seventy six thousand seven hundred and eighty two dollars that they paid in fees over 30 years and ladies and gentlemen that's why I love investing in low-cost index funds financial knowledge is power please like and follow for more